Hi guys, welcome back to ImmortalBJJ.com. I have with me Kevin Hooks, he's one of my blue belts. We're going to go over a technique that we can utilize from cross side. It does have an, a bit of an illegal element unless you're an advanced competitor. However, we have a lot of guys going down to NAGA and the North American Grapples Association and their no gi rules have a, a pretty intense set because you can pretty much do almost anything from novice on. So, let's look at this little cooler technique from side control. I have Kevin in side control. I'm controlling his shoulders and his hips by making sure my knees are tight and my right elbow is uh, trapping his hips with, along with my right knee. And I have standard cross side control. Now Kevin's doing what he should be doing by having his left hand palm up in my armpit which protects me from bearing too much weight down. And he's also utilizing a belt line control to keep me from advancing to mount. So I need to clear the belt line control first and foremost. I'm going to open up my hands, control Kevin's shoulder, and my left hand's going to come down and cup under his elbow. And then I'm going to step out with my left leg and use my right knee and my left arm to drive his elbow clear. I'm going to pull up nice and tight, keeping that elbow tucked in, and I come back to my cross side position. Now that I've ran the belt line and it's extended past my hip, I can now start the process of freeing the other arm from its confines. So I'm going to open up. My right hand comes through the cougar paw control and I push through and connect my hands and push his elbow out. This is actually very painful because both my hands are driving down with my ona on his shoulder joint which creates a lot of pressure and pain. When that elbow comes down, my right hand is going to slide back and I'm going to start to push from his elbow joint and cup my left hand around and into his armpit of the forearm. Now this is why this move is illegal in most grappling uh, situations unless you're advanced because if I were to bring my elbow forward, it's directly a neck crank. But I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to start the process of my triangle. I want to rotate on my knee of my right leg so my foot is going towards Kevin's head. This is going to open up my hips and give me the ability to step through and I can heel toe walk my foot over his arm. Now, my right hand is going to capture my shin and I'm going to pull my left hand out. I'm not going to start to shift my weight as I pull my leg through. I let his arm come free and I rotate all the way to his back. Now, to finish from this position, I can attack the arm bar or if I want to work on submitting the choke, I could square myself up a little bit and reach with my right hand to his leg. Pull his leg tight to mine, control his ankle, and then I finish with a knee bar submission. What I'm trying to do is connect his knee to my knee and use that as a leverage point to pull. This also creates a choke as well, which will give me what's known as a double submission. So we're back again. Clearing the belt line, control, cup the elbow, sit through, come back nice and tight. Hand around the head, pull the paw, push it down, slide everything up. Shift my weight. Now I can somewhat speed this up by shifting, walking up to figure four. I'm keeping my elbow tight, therefore I'm not going to lose his arm. I sit up, grab his leg, pull it towards me, and then I have the submission. One time of speed. So guys, I hope that's something that you might be able to utilize. Uh, I love getting in inverted triangle positions because it's very hard for the person to know where you're going. And with that particular setup with the head, you can be very strong control. Thank you, sir. I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for tuning in.